Blue Jays, the White Sox, the Twins, Rays, and Rockies are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five stacks for today. It's Friday, July 28th. We're talking about DraftKings and we're doing it right now. First up at number five, we are going to the Mariners. 5% chance at top stack, 13% chance at top value, taking on the Diamondbacks and Tommy Henry. Henry, the lefty, not great. 4.9 run implied total for the Mariners looks fantastic. Eight righties in the projected lineup. Only lefty is going to be J.P. Crawford. A $3,400 shortstop in the leadoff spot is certainly not a problem. Best bet you're going to get to is probably the $3,200 Eugenio Suarez or $2,400 Tom Murphy. Either way, if we're talking about ceiling, it's obviously Julio Rodriguez. Really nice balance of upside and value today for Seattle. In at number four, we're going to the Dodgers taking on the Reds and Brandon Williamson. Now, this one is in L.A., so massive power potential. Williamson is terrible. 5.6 run implied total. 7% chance to be the top stack. 1% chance to be the top value here for the Dodgers because they're incredibly expensive at the top. 6% optimal Mookie bets is your best play from the Dodgers. No surprise there. Will Smith and Chris Taylor both stand out, as does Kike Hernandez, because Taylor and Kike both have MPEs, and that is always massive for trying to get to a stack. Guardians in at number three, taking on the White Sox, White Sox and Tuki Toussaint. 5.7 run implied total here for Cleveland. Toussaint is not very good. 6% chance to be the top stack. 11% chance to be the top value. Jose Ramirez is 5,800, and he's the most expensive Cleveland guy that you can get to. Well worth it, I might add. The rest of these guys are cheap. 4,400 for Josh Naylor, 4,200 for Stephen Kwan. It's not all that hard to roster Cleveland. You are getting upside against Tucson, and you're getting really, really affordable pricing. At two, we go to the Braves, taking on Adrian Hauser and the Brewers. 5.6 run implied total for Atlanta. 8% chance at top stack, 1% chance at top value. Clearly, you know, spending up for Acuna, Albies, Riley, Olsen, Murphy. We know, I say this in every video, we know what we're getting here. It's the best offense in baseball, and you got to pay for it. And today, against Hauser, at home, against Milwaukee, like, there's no reason you don't want to go to the Braves. It just so happens that a much worse team overall is a better stack today. Before we hit that number one contender, my only reminder is for you to hit the like button and to sign up at Stochastic. 50% off for your first week. We'll get you our MLB projections, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, and the lineup generator, all for half off for the first week. If you hate it, cancel. You're out after a week. All right, hear me out. 6% chance at top stack, 8% chance at top value. I think the Oakland A's are the number one stack for today. They're in Colorado, in course, five run implied total. These guys are pretty cheap. Tony Kemp, Zachary Geloff, the only guys that are above 4K. You get Brent Rooker for 3,800. Aledmus Diaz at 3,300 with a shortstop third base MPE. Jordan Diaz, $3,100 first base, second base MPE. This is the team you go to if you just don't want to worry about salary today. Because if you pick five A's, you can kind of have whatever you want with your pitching and whatever you want to fill out the rest of your lineup. And when you're playing in cores, that becomes significantly more interesting. So the Oakland A's are the team that I've got my eye on for today. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, July 28th, FanDuel version. Around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight. Win some money. We're back again Sunday morning for another edition of The Contenders.